Hi friends, it's Julia. I am playing along with Mente Monday this week in my uh, craft room and I have this collection that I purchased last year in 2022. This is the Mente Papers uh, Grandma's Attic and I thought this would work good with some of the the summer pictures that I have pulled out now. I bought this paper set with all the papers in it and uh, it got it has a bonus sheet of elements on the back of the cover sheet the introduction sheet Those are all to fussy cut. I need to sit down and do that. I haven't done that yet uh, because I have this entire pack of Ephemera to go with and in this pack Are all the images from here? So that's where I'm at with that. I haven't cut it out just yet So as far as the papers go, I did purchase a few extra of a couple of papers, but I don't at this point I stuck them all in there when I purchased them and I don't remember uh, Exactly which ones I have these all flipped so that you see one side or the other I Think I may be able to get them all in if I go down here There are a couple of cut apart sheets in here. This one looks like this and there's the back side of it with all the little frames. You guys have all seen Mente before, I'm sure. And then here are the tags. If you wanted to cut the tags, it's on the back of that floral paper. I don't know that I'm willing to give up the floral paper for that, only because um, I am going to flip it back over here on the floral paper. Only because I have some tags in here, plus I have some in my stash somewhere. These are all tickets. They could be cut apart, but again, I'm not willing to risk that paper on the back for that. So, here's where I stand at the moment. Let me make sure I have everything. Yeah, paper-wise, that's all that I have, okay? I, like I showed you, I did buy the ephemera pack or the die cut pack. This is a six by eight add-on paper stack. And I split it in half with my sister because I bought her all the same things except for we split these two six by six and six by eight patterns. Uh, there was an extra embellishment sheet in each of those, cut apart sheet in each of those, and I just cut those in half so that we would have an even number. Oh, there's the other part of that paper pack. I did purchase the um, chipboard phrases, and this is driving me crazy. Do you all see that? It's been stored flat in my stash. It was this way when I purchased it, and I thought, well, maybe some uh, pressure on it would cause it to not bow, and that's not been the case. So with this, I have pulled in some additional embellishments. These are from Islet Outlet. I have flat back pearls and two sets of gemstones. I have also pulled in this set from, I want to say I purchased them at Michael's or maybe Hobby Lobby. I don't remember now, but they're little clock faces and I thought they would work perfect with this kit. Because these are, they're supposed to be wood veneer, but they're that um, composite material that is very oily. If you look at the background in this packaging, you can see. Let me pull it out a little bit. Well, I can't. Anywho, it's very oily. Um, and so I pulled in some paints like I did on a previous kit um, with these things. I pulled in a couple of craft paints and some glimmer mist. This is uh, wheat beer is the color of it and it shows right here. So I have these three things in order to paint those so that that oily residue does not come through. I pulled in a handful of ribbons, like there's a little turquoise piece. Uh, there's a green, a cream, almost yellow. There's a white tulle. There's um, binding tape in yellow and then a little bit of lace in a cream color and then a little bit of lace in a white color. Those all came out of my stash. I pulled in my cream color buttons um, in my tall jar and so I'm going to try and use those. And then I did pull in some dyes this go around. I have a leaf dye. I have some floral dyes, more floral dyes. These are like borders or flourishes. Again, more borders and flourishes. So, oh, and I have another little flourish bit here. So I'm gonna sit down and start 
sorting through all of this stuff and figure out what I'm going to pull to use for my first layout with this collection. So give me a second and I will be right back. Okay, so I pulled in a piece of, I think this is Peacock, uh, no, sorry, Pacifica cardstock from my stash. This is close to my heart. Um, and I thought it went, it pulled those blue tones out of there. And with these summer photos, I've been trying to have some component or red and blue throughout because they are surrounding our family reunion at the 4th of July. And so the kids are wearing a lot of red, white, and blue in the photos. So I figured I would just pull in those colors if I can. If I can't, that's okay too. Um, I pulled in the chipboard sheet and the ephemera pack and then these two cut aparts for sure. I don't know if there's any Anything else in in these two paper packs that I'm going to uh, cut down but I've got all the embellishments that I've added in uh, just as a as needed um, and I don't know yet if I'm going to cut anything down with my dies yet either if you will give me a moment I will be back with the layout that I'm planning to create Okay, friends, it's Julia. I am done with my Mente layout. I had started, I, my plan was to hit record and do the process video part of it, but I was in and out of my scrapbook room and I forgot to turn my, uh, or turn my camera on several times and so I didn't get a full video of the entire process, so I just ditched it and figured I would do it this way like I normally do. Like on the 30 days of sketches, how I did, um, Anywho, so this is what I have left of the background paper that I pulled in. Not much of that, right? I used a good portion of it. Plus, I used a 6x6 six six paper for the background. One that looks just like this, except for I cut it down the middle uh, and used it on the top and the bottom so it spans the distance over the page. And so, uh, from here, I had a piece of ephemera paper. I think there's another one in here. Maybe not. Anywho, I had half of a sheet, and so I um, fussy cut, bluntly fussy cut those out here, uh, but I did use some pieces from there. I used the pieces from the embellishment pack. I have some other pieces here to conceivably cut apart, so we'll see. I had two frames, I think these these two from this sheet that I split with my sister and I used one on the layout here's the other uh, fussy cut sheet I had like a portion of that so um, yeah I did use some bits from there the slide this one and I think that's it from that sheet I did use some finishing touches from uh, these dark like bronzy color gemstones anywho uh, I pulled in an ink pad called Desert Sand and used that to ink my edges. I did break into the eyelets and pull, or sorry, break into the brads and I used one of these. These are all of my darker shades, so I just used a little tiny one. It wasn't anything special, just, just a tiny one. And I did use one, two, three, four, five bits from the chipboard sheet. I used a page map sketch and I will have shown you that one. It is an eight and a half by 11 and it is a two horizontal photos, sorry, two vertical photos. And so I changed it to two horizontal photos and here is the layout that I created. So I love how this one turned out. I did use all three of these on the wood veneer or composite piece that I pulled in. And I use this on my layout, uh, just as some spattering around the page. And you can hardly tell it. So there's the top of that 6 by 6 piece that I cut into 6 by 3 And here's the bottom piece. And it just spans the distance. There's an 8, uh, what is it, uh, 6 by 8 sheet here on the background to map my photos. I used a couple of the ephemera bits up here. There's my one single brad. Uh, more ephemera bits here. There's that frame. Uh, and then that was that was a single chipboard phrase like this, but I cut it down so that it would fit on here. Uh, and look, I used the light bulb in the center. Can you see that? So cute. Anyway, here's another little cut cluster down here. And this I cut apart so that part of it was at the top and part was at the bottom. 
and like I said I use the uh, close to my heart desert sand ink to ink around the edges of all the paper and embellishments and there's that one that's supposed to be the wood veneer that the, that is a composite piece after I have painted it I started off by painting the fronts and the backs with this uh, beige tan color paint and then I went over the top and just sponged on some of this ivory color and then over the top of that I used some of this shimmer mist in the wheat beer. Anywho that is my layout for Mente Monday. Guys stick around I will have uh, close-ups of the embellishment clusters at the end of the video so if you are interested make sure stick around for that. If you like this video I would appreciate a thumbs up if you have not already subscribed here I would thoroughly enjoy if you did anyway guys I will see you on the next video have a great day everyone